Hello everyone and welcome to Clara Sews Vintage. Today we're going to be taking a look at my fall and early winter sewing plans. As you may be able to tell here, I've been quite ambitious in my daydreaming. We'll see how much I'm able to accomplish by the end of the year, but I will certainly be taking all of you along on all of my sewing adventures. So the first project that I am planning on working on while it's still fall is this beautiful kind of autumnal burgundy twill. I'm planning on making this into a pencil skirt, specifically this pencil skirt. I have made a pencil skirt before. I've actually made three of this pencil skirt. It's just a really simple pencil skirt with um, a single kick pleat. I put mine in the back. I really love the way this looks. So I wanted, I knew I wanted to do something similar with this burgundy twill, but I wanted to do something a little bit different and change it up a little bit. So I recently added this pattern to my collection and I really like how it's still a simple pencil skirt, but you have a little bit more detailing with the two kick pleats in the back and two kick pleats in the front. So I think that'll add a little bit more flair, a little bit more interest to a pretty simple um, design. So I really love this fabric. Uh, it's already washed up and ready to go and it washed up really nice and soft and I really like the weight of it. Um, it's definitely got a bit of weight to it but it's definitely not really heavy but it's not too thin and flimsy either. So I'm really excited to get started on this and this will be first on the docket. Next while it's still kind of fall time, I really want to make a 1940s inspired dress out of this lovely kind of dandelion print fabric. I believe this was some sort of rayon or viscose, maybe a crepe or chalet from Hart's fabric. And I plan to be making this pattern from the 1940s. I really love this pattern. Um, to me, this design just really kind of takes everything um, that I love about 1940s dresses. I love the little gathering detail up here by the shoulder. I love the silhouette, the skirt. I like how the skirt has a little bit of interest, but I think it will still uh, work well with a very thin, drapey fabric like this because um, it doesn't need too much structure. So I think it will be really, really pretty, and I'm really excited to get this done while it's still kind of fall time because I think the navy and the mustard and the red play really well for fall. So that will be my second project on the list. And then either after that or way at the end toward the end of the year. I haven't decided what order yet. I am planning to make a pencil skirt waistcoat ensemble out of this lovely duo of fabrics here. Um, I When I saw this pattern I really really liked it and I think it will be really really cute out of this lovely tartan and matching green. This tartan is a wool blend that I got from Sew Over It in the UK. Um, they were having like an end of season sale or something and so I was able to pick this up at a discount and I just, when I saw it, I absolutely fell in love with it. I don't know if the camera's wanting to pick it up very well, but it's a really lovely, um, rich, dark navy with like a pine green and kind of a cranberry red tartan running through it. And I just, I absolutely love it. It was well worth the crazy shipping to get it from the UK. It is beautiful. And then this fabric is a... I believe wool blend. It feels like it might have a little bit of acrylic or polyester or something in it. Um, but I got this a long time ago from Hancock and it has been living in my stash waiting to become the perfect thing for a while now. And when I put these two together, I knew that they had to go together. They match. I don't know if it's showing up on camera, but in person they match almost perfectly. It looks like they were made for each other. I had originally been planning to make a pencil skirt out of this, but I think it will make a really nice waistcoat to go with the tartan. And if I make a waistcoat out of it, I'm pretty sure I should have enough left over to make a matching hat. So I'm really excited to get that whole ensemble done. 
Um, as you can see in the picture, they have a white blouse out under it. And I don't currently have a long sleeve white blouse. So that is something that I will have my eye out on fabric also to pick up for a white blouse to go with this. Because I think that will look really sharp. Um, under the green and with the navy and everything. So now let's move on to talking about my kind of Christmas holiday sewing plans for this year. Um, first, again, keeping with the Hancock theme, um, I picked this cut of fabric up before they went out of business and it has been sitting in my stash waiting to come to life and become the perfect garment. And I finally decided, and I think this will be gorgeous out of this perfect purple fabric. It's like a deep plum kind of whiny color. It's really pretty. And I think, I'm not sure what this is. It was just on like an apparel fabric table. It wasn't on a bolt or anything. It was just cuts of fabric. So I'm not sure like the content or even what kind of fabric this is, but it's got a decent weight to it. It's not super flimsy or thin, um, but it's really drapey and fluid. So I think it will be really nice for the gathered details and kind of drape really nicely. And I'm really excited to finally um, help this fabric come to life. And I'm planning to make a black petticoat to go under it to give it a little bit more shape, kind of give it that kind of iconic 50s silhouette and I'll be wearing the black petticoat under this as well as my next project. And I've never made a petticoat so that will be quite an adventure for us to go on together. And then the second project that I'm planning to make is an ensemble with these two fabrics. This green one is a really pretty rayon shirting from Style Maker Fabrics. It's really nice like emeraldy green really pretty jewel tone and this I am planning to make in like a notched collar blouse kind of similar to this I don't know that I'll use this specific pattern um, I already have kind of a basic blouse pattern that I've made quite a bit so I'll probably end up just using a long sleeve on that and using it but this is kind of the look that I'm going for with the blouse and then this lovely tartan, I got this from Fabric Mart Fabrics. I know for sure that this is not available anymore, but when I saw it, I fell in love with it. And I knew I had to have it. I absolutely love plaids and tartans, so I knew I had to get this. And I love the beautiful jewel tones. It's got blue and red and um, a little bit green running through here, which is... Um, I wanted to put it with the green blouse to kind of pull out the green tones. I'm really excited. So I'm going to make a circle skirt variant of some sort. Probably a half circle skirt. Um, I'm very petite. And so I tend to feel like a full circle skirt kind of overwhelms my frame a little bit. So I'll probably go with a half circle skirt for this. With the black petticoat underneath. I think that will kind of elevate the style a little bit. Make it a little bit more elegant. So one will probably be for Christmas and one will be for New Year's. I haven't quite decided which will be which yet, but I can decide on that later on. And then kind of my biggest project for the season here is I want to make a coat. I have never made a coat before and I don't have a vintage style coat. So I would really like that. Um, to get a coat done as we head into the cooler months. The weather has already started turning here in the Midwest and so definitely starting to feel the need for some warmer warmer clothes and as I'm specifically going to be making this blue version of this McCall's reprint here and I'm going to be making it out of this lovely uh, fabric from the Platitudes collection at Joann's. I really love this fabric. It's got a nice weight to it. Um, I think it'll be a really nice coat. It's got like a little bit of a herringbone pattern. I don't know if you can see that. Um, I really, really love this. I have about five yards. Hopefully that'll be enough. But I know Joanne still has it. I saw it last time I was there, so I can always pick up a little bit more if I need it. And I will be putting a flannel interlining into the coat to give it a little bit more warmth since this is just flannel. 
and then put like a shiny slippery lining um, to make it a little bit easier to wear. So that would be an adventure. Like I said, I've never made a coat before. <laughs> that would be an interesting adventure for us to go on together. I'm really excited to work on that. And then I also have a couple of other ideas that haven't really come to life as much yet. Um, but, you know, as if all of this wasn't enough to keep me busy. <laughs> um, but I have this nightgown pattern. I would really like to get this done for Christmas time. Um, I have not gotten fabric for it yet. I'm envisioning this as like a small plaid with some lace detailing kind of like they have around the collar here. Maybe put some on the yoke and the sleeves and stuff. I think that would be really cute for Christmas morning. And my birthday is in January. So as a birthday present to myself, I would like to make a 1950s style suit. I absolutely love vintage suiting, but I don't actually own any. I don't have any vintage suiting, whether I've made it or be it or original vintage. So I would really, as a birthday present to myself, like to make myself a suit. Um, I have some burgundy uh, suiting in my collection, as well as like a muted navy and kind of a brown green. Um, so it'll probably end up being one of those, and I'm really excited. I love the silhouette of this. It's kind of like my ideal 1950s suit, so I really wanted to make that. That will probably be started on more toward the beginning of the year, end of this year, after all of this other stuff is done, at least. Um, so, but yeah, so I think that should keep me pretty busy over the next few months. I think be a lot of fun adventures to share and yeah I would love to know in the comments below what are your guys' sewing plans for the fall and the winter let me know in the comments and let me know what you're most excited to see of the plans that I have um, I always love getting inspired by hearing what other people are working on and I think it'd be a fun way to share so don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and hit the bell button down there so you're notified every time I post a new video and I'll see you next week bye